In this video we will show you how to set up an I.O. connection from TIA Portal version 17. As we can see the data exchange is not started. The data to exchange is 20 bytes input and 20 bytes output. First we will install the GSDML file. Go to Options menu and select Manage General Station Description Files. Select the source path to where your file is located. Select the file you want to import and click install. This may take a minute as the file is large. Now the file is imported, click close and TIA portal will update the hardware catalog. Now we'll add the device to the network, we go to Device and Networks. In the Hardware Catalog on the right we will expand other field devices, Profinet I.O., Gateway, HMS Networks. Drag and drop the Anybus communicator next to the PLC. Click on the blue not assigned and select the Profinet network to connect the device to. Double-click the device. Right-click on the device and select Properties. Scroll down in the settings and input the IP address that you want the PLC to assign to the device. Right-click the device again and select Assign Device Name. Click the Update List button. Select your device. Click the Assign Name button. Click Close. Now we will add the I.O. modules. In the Hardware Catalog expand the Module section. Our input size is 20 bytes, so drag and drop a 20 byte input module into slot 1. Our output size is also 20 bytes so scroll down and drag and drop a 20 byte output module into slot 2. Note the input address 68 through 87 and output address 64 through 83. These are the internal addresses of the PLC. Next we will download the project to the PLC. Right click the PLC and select, Download to Device, Hardware and Software. Click Load. Click Finish. Now let's go online with the PLC. Here we can see that the connection with the device is good. To check the I.O. data we can open a watch table. In the watch table we can enter the addresses that we want to look at. Here we enter input word 68 and input word 70. Next we enable monitoring. We can now see that we have data incoming. We can also change the display format of the data. To look at the output data we enter the output word 64.
we can change the output data by entering a modify value. We then need to force the modify value by clicking the modify button. As you see we now have data exchange as active status on the Profinet. 